What brings a smile to your face? <laughs> Few things give me more pleasure than seeing children who are free to explore the world and have fun. Thankfully, most children born in the UK today will live long and healthy lives. But one in 33 babies are born with a genetic condition which can affect the way their body works. There are over 4,000 genetic disorders, many with no cure. These people and their families are the reason for the Genes for Genes appeal. But there is a feeling of real hope, and every penny spent on research moves us closer to our goal. As well as paying for medical research, Genes for Genes helps families cope with the effects of genetic conditions by providing specialist medical care and support. In fact, the appeal supports the activities of a group of charities each year. Now, we would love to show you all of them, but sadly there isn't time. So instead, we're going to show you just one example of the pioneering work being funded by the generosity of our supporters. It is stories like this that have inspired them. The incredible story of Reese Evans hit the headlines all around the world. Watching him run about today, it's hard to believe, but when he was four months old, he was hospitalized with an incurable infection. It seemed almost certain he would die. It was a bit of a mystery, really. Why wasn't he responding to antibiotics and getting any better? And then, fortunately, he ended up in intensive care. So they said to us that he, he's a fighter, he's holding on, he's just holding his, holding his own, he was. And he lived life on a knife edge, literally. And, the, and if another child came in with an infection, because he wasn't in isolation, and he caught that, then he was going to die. And they told us for 21 days that we're not, we don't know if your child is going to live today. Eventually, Reese was referred to the gene therapy team at Great Ormond Street Hospital. We looked at his immune system and found that he had no real immune system at all on a number of different levels. His immune system was missing, and so he has what we call a severe combined immunodeficiency. And then our next set of tests were able to show us which gene was uh, abnormal and which caused the problems in his immune system. What we and others have been working on over the past 10 years is to use that genetic information to try and develop a new treatment, and that new treatment is gene therapy. So here what we're doing is knowing that a certain gene is defective or abnormal, what we want to do is take that child's cells and actually introduce into those cells a correct or a working copy of that defective gene. We know exactly what the structure uh, of that gene should be. So we can actually build, produce that gene in the laboratory. The next thing is really how do we get that gene into the cells? And so one way we do that is to use a virus, because that's what viruses naturally do. Viruses naturally uh, get into people's cells. And so we use the ability of the viruses to do that. And so, but obviously what we do is make those viruses harmless. So we modify the virus, we make it harmless, and we put that uh, working copy of the gene into the virus. Then we take the cells that should be able to give rise to the immune system. We grow those cells with our virus. And over a period of two, three days, the virus will enter the cells and put that correct copy of the gene into the cells, into the actual chromosomes. So their own cells have now been modified. They will now carry a correct working copy of that gene, and then we give it back to, uh, back to the patient. And it was just a matter of giving it back, just like a blood transfusion. It is amazing, discovering genetic information. Perhaps this is what it was to lead to. It was to be able to use that information to be able to offer new therapies to, to individuals. And that's a point that we've now... Uh, been able to reach. It was incredible for us. 
Mm. It was like having a newborn baby all over again. Not all sufferers of rare genetic diseases can look forward to a life like Reese. This treatment is still in its infancy, and while the technique offers hope for the future, each disease is different, and finding a cure for all of them is going to take time and money.